guys and welcome back to another youtube video my name is janae mcclain for those who are new here if you are not new here welcome back hey even if you are new here welcome to my channel go ahead and subscribe and join the family because we are growing around here and we are not only growing in numbers but we're growing spiritually okay that may have been a little corny but you get it <laughs> so on today's video we're going to be talking about my morning routine now i know morning routines is not a one size fits all but i hope that some of the things that i do in my morning routine can truly help you in your morning time with god now so let's just get right into it so the first thing that i do when i get up in the morning i turn off my alarm on my phone and i get up and i head to the restroom so when I head to the restroom, I just go ahead and brush my teeth and wash my face. As I am brushing my teeth and washing my face, I turn on piano worship music. I don't know if you guys heard of, I think it's Drippy Peaky's. I'm not sure, but I will link it below. I listen to that piano worship music as I am brushing my teeth and washing my face, just kind of start my morning off smooth. And as I'm listening to that, I take, um, I listen to the music on my phone or my computer. So, I, and when I'm done brushing my teeth and washing my face, I head to the kitchen with my phone or the computer, wherever I'm listening to that piano worship music on, and I grab a glass of water, guys. It's very important that you drink water the first thing in the morning because you don't want to start off your morning drinking sodas or just anything and putting that on the first thing in your body water just helps your digestive system out much more than just putting a soda on your body the first thing if i have lemon i do have lemon water so it kind of just depends on what i have in the refrigerator if i add something to my water but nine times out of ten it's just water or i warm me some water up and i drink warm water in the morning so after i'm done washing my face brushing my teeth and grabbing my water i go into my bible time with god now i grab my bible and my bible journal to make to write down my notes with my time with god so my bible time is different some weeks are the same but some days are different for example if i am dealing with something when i wake up something is truly on my heart so for example if i'm dealing with fear or whatever the case may be i will find a bible verse in the bible to help me with that so for example fear we know that the bible says that god has not given us a spirit of fear but of love and a sound mind so if i know this i'm not going to continue to let what the enemy tells me what comes up in my mind that is not of god that is actually going against god's word ponder in my mind so i'm going to take that verse i am going to ponder on that verse and i'm going to replace those thoughts with the word of god now that may take a week that may take a day but for me to remember that verse or for me to get it in my head that fear is not from god however long that takes i'm going to make sure that i stay on that because i do not want to let fear stop me from walking in the things that god has called me to do so that is how i do my bible time or i either pick a passage in the bible and i will read a chapter a day until i finish that passage in the bible or book some people call it book some people call it passage so i would take i would read a book out of the bible so for example if i'm reading matthew i would read two chapters a day in matthew until i'm finished and just jot down the notes that i'm reading in matthew jot down what sticks out to me i would use my bible journal to find verses that stick out to me and write them in there and how i can apply it to my life so that is how i do my bible time with god so it kind of just depends sometimes i would just ask the holy spirit holy spirit i don't know what to study today help me find something to study or help me to figure out what I need to study today. Like I said, it can be also simple as finding a verse that speaks to your heart and just sticking to that that morning, really writing that verse down, writing out um, the things around that verse. What does it say before that verse? What is God really talking about in this verse? Writing it down, putting how you can apply it to your life and just you know, getting your day started. So your Bible verse would just really vary on what you truly need to study on. I remember there was a time I spent a month on the fruit of the spirit in the Bible because I truly need to work on something in my own heart. So I spent a month there just truly working on the fruits of the spirit because I wanted to change something in my heart, in my mind. So I stayed there for a month, y'all. So it really varies. Like I said, you can change something each day when your Bible time with God, or you can be staying on something that God truly wants to help you and heal you from. Whether it's a week, two weeks, three days, it doesn't matter. So when it comes to your Bible time, it's definitely something that is personal. So pick something that speaks to you, okay? 
And then also they have like different devotionals and they have they come with a Bible verse with it. So I do want to let you know, I don't want you to replace your devotionals with your Bible. You still need your Bible, but devotionals is a good add on if you have one. After that, I go into praise and worship. So but this time I put my Bible up and everything. I just turn on praise and worship music and I truly just sit there and i just listen to the praise and worship music and i just praise god and i just thank god sometimes i just sit there and listen and just soak everything in and just truly let god speak to me so that time can last however long you want it to last that's totally up to you but having that time is really good for you because you can truly just sit there and just soak everything in just really 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 just listen just be a baby and just sit there turn on your favorite brush of music and my time with god and i'm just sitting there laying on the floor i just think about how far god has brought me i don't know about y'all but god has brought me a long way and so sometimes i'm there and i'm crying and i'm weeping and i'm just thanking god for his goodness and his faithfulness and it does, that time is just a reminder for me how good god is even despite what i may be going through even despite if i'm dealing with something God is faithful. After that, I get up from that praise and worship and I close out my morning time with God with prayer. So I begin to pray over my home. I begin to pray over my family. I begin to pray over my friends. Whatever God has put on my heart, I begin to pray and I just seal it all in prayer. And so that is really my morning routine. So your morning routine, your time-wise, is definitely up to you. Sometimes I can be there for an hour or even longer. Sometimes it's just 30 minutes. It kind of just depends on how my day is going. I do suggest you get up earlier to make sure that you are spending some time with God. I do know some people's schedules are hectic, but I really want you to now just truly prioritize God. That is something that I am getting better at is trying to make sure that I keep God first because that's what we're all supposed to be doing. So having a morning routine would definitely help you start your morning off right. Starting your morning off with God is just amazing. It's just incredible because I'm telling you guys, when you get somewhere or say when you work in a job and your boss says something crazy to you or wherever it is, I promise you, you're gonna be like, look, I just had a wonderful time with God in the morning. I'm not gonna let that mess up my day. You're gonna smile and say, yes, okay. And you're gonna go about your business. You don't let the smallest thing impact you when you spend time with God. Even just not in the morning, but when the Holy Spirit is truly inside of you, you just don't let the smallest things bother you anymore. So I think it's very important that we all have morning routines. Like I said, it doesn't have to be everything that I just listed. However, you need something. Even if it's just waking up, praying, and listening to worship music. Whatever your morning routine is, you need one. We all need one. It just helps us start our day off right. It just helps us get on the right track. And it just truly helps us to be guided in the right direction, right? So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys on my next video. Peace.